You know, for a lot of us, the years that Larry Fitzgerald played at the University of Pittsburgh were some of the most dynamic in our history. And I told a number of the media people today in New York that um, I will always be so indebted to Larry because when we were trying to get this thing going and we were trying to show what we could be in football, that one great player came in and said, I'm going to come to Pitt and I'm going to make a difference. And interestingly, not only is he one of the finest players in the history of the game, but he's also one of the finest people that I've ever known. Larry Fitzgerald has set the mark for what student athletes should be. And when you look at his career, and you look at what he's done at Pitt, and then what he's done at the Arizona Cardinals, but maybe most importantly what he's done off the field, and the time that he spends with others, and I watched him engage everyone again today in New York like he does. He is absolutely an exemplary human being, the finest football player to ever play wide receiver in any college, that had we spent one week later, he'd be holding the Heisman Trophy. And we can't give you the Heisman Trophy, Larry, but what we can do, and it's my honor tonight to announce that we are retiring the jersey yes. number one. Now, Larry didn't know this, um, and, uh, and, but it's been the appropriate time to do this. And, and when you think about the Dorsett and Marino and Ditka and Schmidt and Goldberg and May and Freilich, the name Fitzgerald belongs right along with them. So let me introduce to you the newly retired yes. superstar, <laughs> our friend Larry Fitzgerald. and thank you to the very kind words um, you know I, uh, I was telling somebody earlier today um, my journey to the University of Pittsburgh wasn't uh, wasn't planned uh, I was recruited by numerous schools and um, I was actually coming through Pittsburgh on my way to Penn State and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I haven't heard I hadn't heard anything from University of Pittsburgh, and uh, you know, I had an offer a scholarship from Penn State, and I was on my way there. So I was with my high school coach, and a, and a bad storm, uh, you know, closed the highway down. We couldn't get um, to Penn State, and so we ended up staying here in the city. And um, that night, my coach was talking to me, and he said, "You know, they've had some tremendous athletes that have come through this university. Um, you know, we should we should we should come we should go visit." And um, you know, I was like, "Okay, that's fine." So the next day, we drove over, and. Um, um, you know, a lot of recruits are wild, wild by the facilities and, um, you know, a lot of other things that, um, you know, in the long run don't play as big a significant value in, 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 the, in the man. Um, and when I got to Sutherland Hall is that where all the coaches were staying because they just locked down Pitt Stadium. Um, Heinz, Heinz Field was just being done. Um, the, the new Durant Center was being finished over on the south side. Um, so it was all just a vision at that point for me. But what sold me was the, was the people that I met. Um, you know, Jan McManus, Mike Fairball, uh, Donna Sam, uh, Mr. Peterson, and, and so many other people that I was, got, I was able to come in contact with. And, and that's what sold me. And the relationships that I built with so many people in this room, you know, just, it, uh, it, turned, me, it turned me into a man. I was, I was a child when I got here. And I feel like the city of Pittsburgh, the University of, of Pittsburgh embraced me. And, uh, and gave me and gave me the uh, the courage to go out there and face the world, um, not only as an athlete but as a man. And um, long after you know your football career is over, nobody's gonna remember how many catches you make, but they always remember how, how they make you feel. And um, all you guys in here, I really appreciate the way you guys have set me and family. And this means so much to me. I wish my father and my mother were here to see it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you. 